it, it, exactly. And we've spoken about this a few times on the Motorman Rude Dog Show. Go throw us a follow, would you? At Take No Punches on Twitter. Uh, and of course, share it, love it, like it, leave some comments. We always appreciate feedback, how we can make this show better. So make sure that, that you can do that because that would be fantastic for us uh, to, to be able to provide even more solid content for you. Uh, but I think more importantly, when, when, when you look at the NFL landscape, and of course the NFL draft is coming and you know you have all the bowl games and NCAA and it's almost like time to start over again. Football is going to be on a hiatus for a while. I can't believe it's almost done and over with. I think that's one of the saddest parts, at least for, in, in my professional opinion, it's going to be one of the saddest parts of all when football's done. Well, I don't know. So you're telling me you don't value the XFL? The XFL? What's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, to be honest with you, the the, the XFL is just going to be just one big showcase of nonsense. I mean, I understand yeah. that, that, that they want to highlight certain players and, you know, they're going to show different teams and it's going to be uh, a, a more of a nastier, uh, brutal uh, kind of uh, format that the NFL is not. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I, I may take in a game or two, maybe. Yeah, right. Uh, but okay. I, I, I yeah, would, all right. No, no. I, I'm I'll not give gonna, you the right there's word. There's a reason to hold your breath there. Don't hold your breath. No, yeah, the word afterthought is in the mind of the rude dog. <laughs> well, if it happens, it happens. It doesn't, it doesn't. Afterthought. You know what? Okay, I got it. Afterthought. Yeah. It's always an afterthought. But anyway, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Scott, thanks a whole lot. I appreciate you coming back on to the show. Um, and this oh, will be posted. It will be on SoundCloud. It will be on anywhere you can possibly find media. It will be on Twitter. Um, and I'll have this posted on com, so you can check that out as well with me and Scott. Uh, Scott, what kind, of, uh, what kind of message do you have for everybody out there in the new year of 2020? You know what? We alluded to it earlier. Live every day as if it were your last because you don't know when tomorrow, if tomorrow is guaranteed. You really do. I mean, let's face the reality. You, we've talked about some instances today on our program. And whether you're 30, whether you're 90, whether you're 74, 77, when the man upstairs is ready for you, he's ready for you. So just live every day as if it were your last. Well said. Well said. Absolutely. And I could not, I, I, I could not agree more because – but 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 along the way, I'm going to add to that, and then we'll close. If you're going to help someone, do it because you want to, not because you feel like you must. Do it because you want to provide a selfless act for someone, because at the end of the day, we're going to be remembered for the things we do for other people and not for ourselves. So with that, this is Rudy Reyes, Scott Morgan Roth. We will be in touch with you guys soon. Again, spread the cheer. Uh, Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you again on the Motor Man and Rude Dog Show. Yeah, and you can follow me at Tribune South. And one thing I want to add before we close, uh, Morris and Lion Lives, let's make the most of the one we have. So I thought we'd just throw that in there. So thank you, Rudy. It's been a pleasure, as always, being on the program with your partner. Sure, man. We'll talk soon. Thank you again and uh, everybody else for tuning in. We'll talk soon.